Dance Arts of Columbia provides fitness fun for everyone from three years old to adult. Dance Arts is a good environment where the friendly staff makes you feel comfortable. Dance Art feels that dance is an art form that you can experience firsthand by learning tap, jazz, modern, musical theater, lyrical, and ballet. Dance Arts urges you to enjoy a sense of accomplishment while getting fit and having fun. For class information, call 875-1569. Dance Arts of Columbia, serving Columbia since 1979. Good morning and welcome to Radio Friends on Monday, December the 16th. As always, it's good to have you with us. We've got two guests today. We'll start, first of all, with Elizabeth Broughton Pomieri. Yes, hello. Welcome back to Radio Friends Greenhouse Theater Project. And you have a show that opens this Wednesday. Wednesday. This coming Wednesday. This Wednesday, yes. What is it? We have a, a new piece. It's an original piece that um, my co-artistic director, Emily Adams, and myself wrote from oh, scratch. with the English accent. That is the, yep. That's she's, the Emily. I'm sorry, she's not here. She had a baby a couple months ago. She's, she's taking a little bit of a leave of absence. But yeah. um, she co-wrote this beautiful script with me, and it's called Stay la nuit, or Twas the Night, mm -hmm. was the translation. So this and is a Christmas play. It is a a. Parisian holiday show, yeah. So technically, it takes place around the the Noel that is is uh, that is Christmas, right? Uh -huh. um, but it starts in um, in Tennessee on Lookout Mountain. It's about a boy who's actually born to a cabaret singer and a poet and a poet in Paris, but then he is adopted and raised in Tennessee. And uh, he, when he approaches his 18th birthday, his his parents tell him the truth and so he goes kind of on this pilgrimage this journey back to Paris to find his roots. Wow, this seems like a deep production. It's it's actually very light. The the there are six um, actors in the show and they all play multiple characters, men and women and it's it, huge caricatures, really fun. Um, we've been working with dialect coaches uh, so we can, you know, get as close as we can to perfecting our Parisian accents. But um, yeah, it's really cool and we're collaborating with Or Street Studios. Mm -hmm. So we're performing, as we always perform in these different spaces downtown, uh, we're performing in this uh, really cool art gallery with these high, high ceilings. So we're creating this... Um, this art installation piece where our props and our costumes will hang from the ceiling. So oh, we'll nice. pull them down kind of throughout the piece. Yeah. Now, th there's no music in this? There is music. Oh, Actually, music one too. of my actors has learned how to play the accordion. Um, so oh. he is playing the accordion. He's the storyteller throughout the piece. And then we have a lot of other French music that is um, from Jan Tiersen, who's one of my favorite composers, and that'll be kind of playing throughout the piece. Are you but, in it? Uh, I am in it. All right. Well, then tell people to come, but use your... French dialect, if you will. Oh, don't do that to me. Come on. Oh. oh, please, please come. Please, we will really like you to come to our show. Yeah, we, 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 yeah. <laughs> Very good. Um, and if they want tickets, they can get oh, them online. Oh, you slipped out of it, though. <laughs> oh, uh, yeah. Well, you know. It All right. Comes, it comes if they goes. want tickets, it's, yep. it opens this Wednesday. This Wednesday runs through Sunday. It's at 7.30 p.m., okay. um, five nights. And it runs about an hour long, and it's family friendly. So okay. bring the kids. Um, there'll be cider and wine, and you can get uh, tickets online. Our website is greenhousetp.org. Okay, www.greenhousetp, yep. that's for Theater Project. You got it. <laughs> dot org. Yes, correct. All right, Elizabeth Broughton Palmieri, thank you so much thank for coming. Thank you so right. much. Always a pleasure having you here. Thank you. Okay, and Merry Christmas Merry to Christmas you. Merry Christmas to you, Paul. Now, we have uh, sitting to my left, Nina Furstenau. Have you met Nina before? I did just meet Nina. Yeah, okay. Yeah, Nina, Nina has written a book about vampires. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. But the title sounds like it's a book about vampires. You're, you're, you're actually a wonderful author. <laughs> Cookbooks, yo, and Indian cooking. Mm -hmm. The name of this one is Biting Through the Skin. And please read the subhead, Paul. <laughs> okay. Oh, okay, wait a minute. Let me put my glasses on. <laughs> Biting Through the Skin, an Indian kitchen in America's heartland. Okay. Yes. This is a cookbook. It is not a book about vampires. And actually, it's a food memoir with a sprinkling of family recipes. Oh. So it's a, it's a story about uh, using food as a lens to see family culture. How wonderful. So it is savory, but not in the sense of vampires. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> right. 
<laughs> well, how did you come up with this title? Well, in the prologue, there is a scene where I was, uh, I was as a child visiting India, and I saw a, another child, a little bit younger than myself, uh, uh, biting through uh, so some a banana skin uh -huh. to get at the fruit and that that was uh, it made such an impact on me that I think it stayed with me almost in dream form for a number of years oh. until I realized it was actually true and when you um, are that age and you see someone your own age or close uh, in a position uh, of hunger like that I think it affects at least for me it affected yeah. how I really go through the life uh, right. ever since. Right. So, so actually this title has a great deal of meaning. It does. You know, a great to me. deal of mm -hmm. meaning to you. Mm -hmm. So it's a story and there are recipes. There in are here. recipes in there. Very tasty. Very There's tasty, tasty right. recipes in there. So this came out when? In September? In September. Mm -hmm. How many books have you written? This is my second. It's uh, my second. I did Savor Missouri earlier last spring. That's right. We had we mm -hmm. had you on here yeah. talking about that. So how many recipes are in here? There's uh, fifty plus. They're all fit recipes from my family. They're they're very good. And um, I think all of us have different comfort foods, things that bring us to our family story. You, I'm sure, do from your Sicilian oh, yeah. background. Yeah. And if you think about one dish or two, it opens up a whole world of experiences because you might also remember who prepared it or mm -hmm. how they prepared it or what spices they used. Or the aroma, just, the smelling, aroma. just mm -hmm. smelling one of the ingredients that's used in yes. a particular dish can take you back 30, 40, 50 Absolutely. years or more. Absolutely, it really can. And for many of us, we almost, I feel, every family is a pocket of culture within the larger community. Mm -hmm. And so those those uh, sensory kinds of triggers will, will spark your story. I mean, you can't avoid it. And for me, um, there was a story of Kansas in the Midwest and the foods that were eaten in the Midwest outside our front door. But behind our front door, there was a different story. Right. What is a comfort food in here? For you? Oh, there's a great recipe in there for just, I mean, it sounds pretty basic, but it's chicken curry, but it's my family's recipe for chicken so curry. So that's your comfort food. And it's pretty darn comforting. Good, good. <laughs> yeah. So if people want this book, uh, actually it'd be perfect for a Christmas gift. Oh, it would be lovely. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely perfect for a yes. Christmas gift. Where, where can they, where can they if, get this? If you uh, look downtown, there's 9th Street Books, uh, Tallulah's, Barnes & Noble in town, then all your, you know, online sources as well. It's available on Amazon too? It is. Mm -hmm. oh and Barnes & Noble. And so that, it's called Biting Through the Skin, an Indian Kitchen in America's Heartland. Yes. All right. And it's, it's a beautiful <laughs> book written by... A really beautiful lady with a great personality. <laughs> oh, thank you, Thank Paul. you so much, Very Nina, nice for coming by. Merry Christmas to you, and Merry I hope Christmas. you sell a ton of these books. Thank you so they much. They make great stocking, stocking, <laughs> stocking stuffers, won't they? I, I think so. <laughs> <laughs> All right. We're thank out of time for today. Please come back again. Thank you okay? so much. Tomorrow, Bill Wickersham will be on. You know what his topic is, UFOs. Our, our uh, director is... Uh, Travis McMillan of the Reynolds Journalism Institute. Audio is Pat Akers from KBIA. Our floor director is Sifun Oyoung, and our assistant producer and guest coordinator is Uncle James Mauser. And if there is something you would like to hear or see, I would love to hear from you. Drop me an email, pepperp at missouri.edu, and you can sign up for a free podcast or a podcast if you'd like. Listen to it again. Bye-bye.